Hey guys, okay. Oof, trying to recover from that last reading. <laughs> it's freaking intense for some reason tonight. Okay, um, sorry, I'm trying to get it organized over here. I'm going to start another reading. Hopefully this one will be. I mean, that one wasn't bad. Obviously, there's just a lot of emotions in it. And like I brought up, maybe it has something to do with what's going on. The new moon cycle, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, Alright, let's see what Spirit has for you tonight. Remember, this is going to be a general collective reading as always. Okay, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. I may do. I don't want to talk shit about people, though. I don't think I'm going to pull that in my tea deck or something. Maybe I'll do... Is this one lighter? Some of these decks I gotta go through because honestly, some of them are just too. I don't know. I don't like to go after people like that. I don't think that's right. I think it's rude. So let's see what this one has to offer. Spirit for the collective. The hidden realms coming right out. Okay, so something needs to be shared here, is what it looks like. I see somebody beginning to really open up themselves, maybe to other people. This could be somebody exposing their talents, their gifts in some way. Um, yeah, I feel like this is starting to come out, but I feel like more needs to come out for some reason. So, yeah, you're giving us a part of you, but you're not giving us all of you, which is this normal, okay? Maybe somebody's just getting comfortable with this. You see a bunch of stars around here. This is what I'm made of. This is me being my authentic self. Somebody's definitely very talented is what I feel. Someone may just wanting to... It's not just someone. No, 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 no. I feel this person's being implored. Yeah, implored to to show others more of what they got, more of some talent that they have here. Let me actually let me let me look in this drawer because I'm gonna make sure there's only twenty cards in this one, but I wanna make sure that I have them on. Just pulled it out of there and I don't know why one was sticking earlier. Okay, what else here? Oh, the Empress. Okay, so this is about growth. This is about growth, this is about expansion. Someone coming out of their shell a little bit more. You don't really have to be in your shell. There's just something here that is keeping you stuck. Like, I'm only allowing people to see some of me. Okay, not all of me. I'm going to give you a little of me, not all of me. But you, this person's talented. All right, so they have a lot more to offer. There may be something here in terms of expansion and growth that I'm getting here that you need to be doing around your business or something creative that you're doing in your life in some way to, to assist you. It's almost like being creative or stepping outside of the box a little bit, taking some chances. I don't feel like you've been taking a lot of chances. Maybe this is why. Maybe because you don't know what to expect. How will I be received? Or what can I expect from these chances, you know? It's, are you like in this comfortably numb kind of phase? I've done good with what I'm doing so far. I'm very comfortable with where I'm at. I don't know that I really want to expand or step outside, but but I think you kind of do. Or maybe you, you know what it is? You could also be feeling like, I know there's more. And that's the way spirit works through us a lot of times, right? It's like, you know, get you to open up a little bit, get you comfortable. Okay, you're good now. Let's move on. It's like, you know, uh, riding a tricycle before we get onto a bike, right? And we take off the training wheels and all of that good stuff. So there's, there's a step-by-step -step process that happens, you know, learning to walk before we run. That's what you're doing. I think you've been taught this is what's been happening. Push, push out of your comfort zone here. Started to really open up. I feel like you're present. Why do I feel like you're out there? So people could actually see you. You could be very visible to other people within your comfort zone, though. Not fully visible. You don't get to see everything. I'm not on a reality TV show. Maybe, but you could be because I just brought it up. Um, but, but there's so much more to you, and I think you feel it. I think you feel it, even though you're not doing anything about it. I feel like you do feel like something here needs to be, it's time to push something forward, to do something different. Okay. Or maybe add to something here. Hmm, what are you going through here? I guess some sadness. Entrapment, maybe, is this what's going on here? Or is this somebody else coming up in your reading? Let's see. 
discover your life life purpose you know what it is look at this family and tribe i knew this was about to come out something else is distracting you that's why it's time so oh wow okay spirit is really pushing someone to expand it's time to do something different you can feel it but there's something in your family life something that is actually going on around you that's making you feel restricted from this maybe even some sadness some disease in some way okay i can't move at this particular time maybe something around your family maybe it's a health situation maybe it has to do with money or finances or taking care of someone here <laughs> Okay, I understand. This is about discovering your life purpose, though. Okay, and you may already feel like you're on purpose, but I feel like there's something more that is to that. And you can hear the calling, okay? You hear the calling from this. This music is really drawing your attention, right? This calling, I feel like it's really drawing your attention here, but you feel like you can't move on it right now. And I think it's making you very sad, even in anguish in some way, right? Because you know what you need to do. You can feel like time is actually passing you by in some way, but I have to take care of my responsibilities, interesting, in some way. Mm hmm healing could be due to some kind of healing that is going on but look then i see procrastination on the bottom as well so there's a couple of things that could be going on here with someone you know what you need to do okay is what i'm feeling or you're feeling this call and you're feeling this pull to be able to do it it does have to do with your life purpose it does have to do with exposing more of the gifts that you have okay it does have to do with some kind of expansion and some kind of growth look at all the beautiful flowers that is growing around this here all right that is waiting to happen Maybe you are going through some kind of healing phase or maybe you're healing something within a family dynamic as well or feeling like that's where you need to devote your time to at this particular time. But I got to be honest, is this healthy for you? Because, I mean, I see the sadness around it or maybe, but the entrapments? I could see sadness around something needing to heal, but feeling like I'm entrapped, I'm stuck, I can't move at this particular time. There's something else within this dynamic I feel that's holding you back. So there's got to be some sense of obligation or responsibility that you feel that is keeping you restricted at this time and keeping you away from some kind of honest purpose or destiny. All right, let's go ahead and get into the tarot, I think. I'm going to use, let's use this deck. I just noticed I only have 27 minutes left, so which means I'm already in 8 minutes. So 19 minutes left. So if it goes on, I'll keep my eye on it and then I'll start again. Start part 2, but I'll splice it so you don't have to worry about it. All right, Spirit, what is this about? Show me the collective in this particular situation. The collective. Where is the collective at in this situation? Wow, look at this. Devil energy. All right, what else? To eight of, what is it? The Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, that's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse cards are so light whoa try to fly out wow so you got a lot going on with you so maybe you don't have a job at this particular time or there's some kind of lack of desire i don't know let's see maybe you feel like you're in a a dead-end job as well look this has really got you in your head my god are you entrapped due to your own thinking maybe negative thinking in some way I definitely feel okay so here's the situation I think someone is scared to make a change that's what I feel so they know it if they hear the calling they know that they're gifted in some way they're staying in their head they could be around some kind of toxic energies too but I feel a lot of this is going on within the head somebody here is heavily in their shadow self as well 
Maybe they don't have a job, okay? Or maybe they don't feel like they want to work on something at this particular time. It's almost like low energy, lack of focus in some way. Their motivation or their ambition is down at this particular time here. I just feel like somebody feels really unprepared for whatever this is. They're afraid to really start something new here. Yeah, they're afraid of change. Hmm. And I also feel like they don't feel equipped. Like they're not going to... Somebody, uh, somebody may doubt that they can make something happen on their own. Look at all these reversals. They may actually doubt that they can make something happen on their own. So maybe this is something that someone is doing on their own. It is about life purpose, but that can be in anything, right? They feel like they would have the inability here to commit to something at this particular time to make it work. And honestly, what I feel is someone feeling like it may not work anyway. They could be recovering from something here, some kind of financial loss themselves. Trying to get hope back into their life, trying to believe in themselves again. Okay, so somebody's taking a fall of some sort here. Somebody here could have also went through some kind of health situation. They're just trying to get back in better health. Okay, so this may also be, we did see healing. So maybe this is what has them feeling entrapped a bit. And also sad because maybe they want to do something, but they don't feel equipped from a health perspective, from a financial perspective to do it. Somebody's trying to overcome some kind of adversity here is what I see. They really want to overcome some kind of adversity. Look at this. Well, I mean, it looks like it's going to happen. And I see a releasing of fear. Okay. There's some kind of healing or relief that is coming. And that could have impacted someone here mentally as well. Or some kind of mental torment. Maybe someone was having a lot of nightmares, a lot of stress, anxiety attacks, something like this. This looks to me like somebody's been trying to find help here so they can grow. This is a very sweet, loving person. Generally very emotionally mature and balanced. This is interesting because what I'm getting is uh, there's somebody around them. This is why they feel entrapped. There's somebody around. This is um, This is honestly, this is hard to read for me because, okay, don't get in your emotions. Because I feel like somebody is holding another person back here or trying to hold them back this is somebody very manipulative and controlling that abuses their power in a situation very ruthless it could be a boss maybe a father maybe i don't know this could be somebody they're with i don't know they could be with another you know it could be a same-sex relationship for that matter Somebody's very irrational here, and I feel like they're constantly digging at this person who can be a bit emotional. Almost like you're too soft. Why am I getting that? So this is what I hate about people like this, honestly. This King of Swords in reverse energy. It's like, you know, making other people feel like you're too soft and cover your emotions. Don't help people. People will abuse you. That's that's manipulation. Okay, they're hard. They want somebody else to be hard. And I mean, their heart is hard. Okay, they're fucking miserable is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that is what's happening here. But what it's really done is kept somebody stuck. But this person may be dependent on this, this egotistical jerk controlling person for something. And maybe it has to do with finances. Okay. Especially if a job has been lost or they're not making the money that they need in a particular job. If this person is in a job, I feel like they don't feel or they haven't felt like they've been, they put in a lot of work, but they haven't been recognized the way that they felt that they have or they should have. This person is trying to really heal from this because I think it's done a lot on their mental state, on their emotional state, definitely on the physical body as well. 
they're trying to really end this mental torment they feel like they've been going through here and, and start to face life again they're learning to cope maybe in a different way maybe they were not coping in the right way or coping too well with this situation definitely this king of swords in reverse person is trying to create some kind of um delays or something like that in this person's life here actually they might be bringing chaos into this person's life too is what i feel as they're trying to push towards some kind of queen of wands energy yeah they definitely don't want that to happen they don't want that to happen so basically, somebody here is attracted to another individual is what I feel. I have a really loving person that has a cup. Okay, a lot of emotions overflowing here that's very attracted to another individual here that's coming across as very independent and confident. Maybe a bit of a social butterfly here. And then we have this person is not letting it happen. They don't want it to happen. They're trying to create some kind of delays and chaos and stop this person. It's got this person really, it's had them really, really in their head. And not coping very well with the situation here. They may be in their ear telling them that this is a very risky investment as well. It's not going to go anywhere. And this person shouldn't show any kind of initiative. This is just really poor advice, honestly. This is why this person feels sad because there's something about this person that has some kind of power over them. And I don't know what it is. Again, is it the boss, the mentor? Surely not somebody that they look up to. This is like a dictator, just an irrational person, right? So like a, a, a dictator, it could just be a friend, honestly, but they're ruthless and they're out for themselves. It could be a situation where they're like, no, let it go. Don't show any initiative. Make them come to you, but it's not happening. They're losing this person. That's why they're sad. They feel entrapped by their situation. It's almost like I need, somebody needs, feels like they need this other person. And I think it might have to do with a living situation or job situation. Maybe one employs the other or something like that. This could also be a family member that's been supportive in some way, but not in this situation at all. So somebody here is feeling very down about a situation. They feel really stuck. That's also a card about being stuck. Nothing's moving here. They want it to move. I'm very sad about this situation. I expected it to move, but I have all these other issues that are going on as well. They've had some kind of health concern is what I feel. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, definitely. It's, it could definitely be a money thing. This per I do think this person is working though, but they might be a workaholic to be honest with you. Somebody just wants to get away from a situation and they don't feel they don't feel like they can. They've had some kind of financial setbacks. I don't know if they understand that they have someone around there that them that's actually jealous and envious of their life. And that's why they're giving them such a hard time. And also very bad information is what I feel. You know, maybe their financial setback is because they've been living beyond their means here. Trying to keep a superficial lifestyle or something like that. I'm telling you, they got poor advice here. They didn't show any initiative towards someone who they're very drawn to and who they care about or like a lot. And now they don't feel like they even, they can do it. Huh. Yeah, I think this was a person. So they're trying to get away from someone here who they feel was very greedy. Okay. But the thing is... There, there's something this person must be heavily reliant on well everybody's relying a bit I guess on on money and stuff like that but it's almost like overly like almost feeling like I don't have anything to give what would I even bring to the table some kind of financial insecurity here I'm going to tell you part of the problem here especially if you are this king of cups that is watching this is your problem right here this person that is around you, okay, they're not for you in any way. In fact, they're holding you back and they're in this very low energy anyway. Why would you be around them? 
honestly, I can understand anybody, and I'll talk to anybody just about, but I don't keep people like that in my energy. In fact, I can't stand people like that. So it's easy for me to, to dump their ass right out of my energy very quick. And I think this person needs to be repositioned, but I have a feeling there's some kind of reliance on them. And I think it may have to do with work or money or something like that. Yeah. So this person is feeling like they're not bringing too much to the table here. There's something too about them. They know that, see, they know there's a higher calling. They know that they're supposed to be discovering their life purpose here. They know that they're supposed to be expanding, but it's almost like I don't want to be in that. I don't want to be in the spotlight. I'm not ready for the spotlight. I'm not ready for acclaim or success or public recognition in some way here. Maybe they feel like, I don't have my life together, or I don't have the funds to make that happen, or it, it has something to do with, I don't really have my life completely together, so I'm not ready for that. But honestly, do you have to have your life completely together to take steps towards a life purpose? The entrapment could also be coming from you, okay? If I'm talking to somebody here who is watching this, okay, this is a self-imposed prison of thoughts here. This is someone who definitely feels trapped, but also could be very well just in their head. The mental aspects of it, I don't have enough to bring to the table. I don't have enough money. I'm afraid of change, although I know that I need to get at these out of these, you know, these rough waters that I've been in. Maybe it involves some kind of move as well. Something that could be at a distance that this person doesn't want to do. They are working, I feel like they work incessantly here. Okay, workaholic. But there's something about failure. Are they, somebody here is afraid of failure. I understand I have a life purpose here. And I understand that, that spirit is really imploring me to do this. And I know that I should do it. But, but what if I fail? What if it doesn't work? So if I stay where I'm at, I'm very comfortable. And if it doesn't work, then fine, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really exposed myself too much. This is someone that doesn't want to expose themselves too much. So they may definitely have some issues here. And maybe I'm talking to you. I don't know. I guess I would be talking to someone here possibly, right, in the collective. But someone could definitely feel like they don't have the tools or the means that they need but i'm telling you it's a self-esteem issue and here's the thing okay about fear you have to charge through it okay you have to charge through it so even if you are fearful just put your foot out there just try it you know i mean the bottom line is people that talk about other people who actually take the steps to do something they're they don't even matter i'm sorry but they don't okay Meanwhile, people are sitting back here not trying anything, not getting anywhere in life, okay? So something like this should be applauded. Just take a step, even if it doesn't work out. That, that's equivalent to people going, oh, yeah, but you know what? They were a one-hit wonder. Well, how many fucking hits do you have? You know, I mean, give me a break. So people kill me with that stuff. We have to get out here and try stuff in life, even if it doesn't work out. So what? Begin again, okay? We can't let other people dictate that for us. And this person is doing that. This person is actually keeping you potentially stuck where you are, okay? With their negative non-wisdom is what I feel. And from going after what you want, and what you know to be true for you. And maybe this is definitely a family member. This is somebody around you that's in your tribe in some way. Yeah, yeah, this is, you're not doing well with this. I'm just going to tell you, okay? I think you feel disappointed. I think you feel very moody as well. There could be, maybe you don't want conflict with this other person. But the truth is, it's just, it's blowing up. But, but you know, it's under the scene. It's that undercurrent that is happening, right? Because you know that there's a lack of movement here. And you may even be losing direction here because you're not moving, okay? So when you feel the sense of powerlessness, you just, sometimes it'll make you want to just give up, okay? So there's something needs to happen, all right? Something definitely needs to happen in this situation here. I told you, it's, so we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, and that goes back to what I said before. 
okay? You're avoiding conflict, but it's bubbling up. And we see that now with the Knight of Swords energy, okay? Because the Knight of Swords is about someone that becomes very rash, very forceful, okay? Even vicious. And that's what I'm getting, okay? So it's going to come out. Those emotions are going to come out. You do feel like somebody is holding you back in some way. And there's a lot of resentment. That's what I feel. There's a lot of resentment here, all right? So you may, may be taking that out or finding that you're having outbursts in some way on other people because what you really want is a new start. You want this new start. You know, look at that, two aces. You want this new start. This could be about a, a person. This could be about another person too. Maybe you feel like this person is part of your life purpose in some way. So you want this to happen, and it's bubbling up because you're feeling these feels here. Look at these emotions. You know that you have an opportunity for a passionate, new, creative start, endeavor, what have you, life purpose sort of thing you're being pushed into, and a new emotional connection or situation. Wow. All right. What else, spirit? Mm-mm-mm. Maybe I'll pull from these. <laughs> Dare I pull from these true emotional ones? Oh, my clock's about to stop. I gotta watch that. See, I already forgot. Not even 20 minutes later. Yeah, somebody here is in heartbreak because they're not taking, they feel bound by a situation. Look, and they're ashamed, guilty, embarrassed. They feel like they're in the wrong about a particular situation. Maybe this is someone they've been with before and they feel like they're wrong in a situation here. They're ashamed about it. They don't know how to put it back together. They got this goofball here that's giving them poor wisdom, right? Misguiding them, but keeping them stuck in some way here. Why do I feel like somebody may have went down the wrong road with a friend though? With a friend or a cousin or something like that, right? And now they feel like trying to come back from that. I'm telling you, it's eating somebody up because they're actually, if you look at this next card, it's definitely about being like about to explode. Like I'm about to explode. Hang on, I'm going to go into part two, okay? Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I should have cleared that before I started, but it doesn't always tell me how much longer I have until when I'm on the last video or when I'm getting close. Um, okay. Jeez. I'm glad I had a little break, though. I've dropped a few F-bombs. I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing this boost before my readings. <laughs> Apparently, I'm too geared up. Plus, I did a hit workout before I started. So, all right. No strings here. Ah, heartbreak here. What is this? So, didn't I say this person might have been running a little bit wild with this other person for a while? Yeah, so this is, oh, okay. That's why somebody's trying to get back to another person here. Somebody has love for another person here who they're very drawn to, very attracted to in some way. Maybe they feel like their life purpose is attached to this person in some way. I feel like this might be a family member or somebody who they consider family who is around them, who is utterly toxic is what I feel here. You know, if this person felt some sense of heartbreak here, maybe this other, this King of Swords in reverse, this very cold person, right? Cut off from the heart. It's like, don't go back towards that. You know, this is what's going to happen if you do that or this. But this queen is upright. Okay, so this queen is not toxic at all. But this person is. The bottom line is there's some kind of guilt or shame about something that happened here in the past. Maybe about how something was handled here. Maybe someone acted like they wanted no strings here. But the truth is it could have been something else. But damn, did this guy just come out in our last reading here? Look at this. Somebody left hanging. So no contact, just left on red. Somebody is embarrassed and ashamed about what they did in that situation. And they're feeling some sense of heartbreak because they can't get back. They're entrapped. Now they can't get back. Why well, do I feel like this has a little bit to do with lifestyle for some reason? Yeah, look. They can't get back because they ghosted. They left someone hanging here. And this could have been a situation anyway that was kind of hot and cold off and on. In some way, this person came across as very detached. But why do I feel like they're healing at this time? So if they came off that way to another person, I mean, I don't get in where you fit in in this thing because somebody here feels 
Well, whoever this is, whoever this King of Cups is, feels the shame. That's what I feel. Embarrassed in the wrong, heartbroken over a situation. You guys could have been bumping heads, okay? That could have been part of the problem here as well. Maybe that's what they're ashamed about. Yeah, love, hate. Wow. Okay, so y'all have very, very strong emotions is what it looks like to me. Fiery, that doesn't surprise me about a Queen of Wands energy, honestly, but that fiery kind of passionate nature anyway, but trying to hang in there. There could have been a lot of bumping heads because you couldn't get on the same page in some way, but somebody, this person here feels ashamed. They feel like they're in the wrong in some way. They know that they were in the wrong. Maybe they didn't take accountability for being in the wrong here instead again last reading instead they could have left someone here on red and been very cold to this person they could have been coming off as hot and cold anyway is what i'm feeling whoa they in a bad place right now yeah they might be trying to they might have a little side hustle out here. They might be trying to make money because I saw that they lost a lot of money. It could have been due. I'm going to go back to lifestyle or whatever they've been doing. Look at this. They could have lost a lot of money here as well because they've been dealing with some kind of trickster. This illusionist, honestly, is this the illusionist? You know, this king of swords, the friend or something like that? Or was this person given to someone else here? You know? Now they're heartbroken here. Is it over that situation? Could be or over a situation here. They've definitely got their eye on some kind of Queen Wands energy. I don't know. Let me see here. Somebody could have sold them an illusion. This is about, look at this. Whoa. Somebody, oh, geez. Yeah, that's what happened. Look at that. Someone sold them an illusion. Okay, so, wow. So this person knows and they've known that they have a higher pur uh, purpose they've known okay that there's some need for expansion here and their talents and stuff like that i feel like they've hung out definitely with the wrong people i hate to even say it that way because it seems so ridiculous and juvenile in some ways but people can be influential okay if they're a strong figure in our life in some way and i feel like for some reason this king of swords in reverse was or is a strong I don't know, it seems to be a strong figure in someone else's life here. I think someone bought into something here, some fairy tale, some illusion here. Okay, maybe they went into it with a broken heart and that is why, all right, from somebody else here. Let me see who this phony trickster is. I must know. Who is this phony trickster spirit? Somebody could have took their money and took off. It's getting real dramatic. <laughs> took off these cards always do right okay could have been a leo oh the hierophant in reverse yeah somebody okay this person could have failed for some kind of illusion with somebody whatever it was i mean that it, it clearly says fairy tale Maybe they thought they were going to walk through these pearly gates and everything was going to be good, but you're dealing with somebody that's a little on the dark side is what it looks like to me. Okay. Um, very interesting. Okay, so whoever this was chose to be non-committal. I feel like there could have been some kind of... I don't know if there was cheating. I feel like there's some, something here that really drained someone's finances is what I'm getting here. I just feel like they found out very quickly that the two of them were very different, okay? They had different beliefs. Maybe there was a lot of challenging beliefs and stuff like that within here. It could have been pretty unconventional, the situation. They fell for some... I'm going to find out now. Mm -mm, i got to find out what this is. What did they fall for? Let me get another deck, actually. Whatever it is, look how they found out. It looks like they found out about it online. They could be looking at their bank account. I keep wanting to go back to something around money. Somebody could have been draining someone else's bank account. This unholy person here. Could have been a Taurus or a Libra. Magician. Eight of Wands. Somebody could have been spending their money and sending. Okay magician 
Okay, somebody could have been spending money and sending sending energy, doing spells. Sorry, guys, that's what I'm getting. Okay, a lot of them, a whole lot of them. All right, towards someone here at a distance. Maybe they were doing it to them. Maybe that's why they're calling them a phony trickster. This was illusions here, okay? This was an illusion that I bought into. Maybe it was due to something that was being done here in the background to get something that someone wanted here, two of wands, right? And it could have been someone at a distance. Somebody has the proof of whatever this is, is what I feel, and now they feel bound to something? Jeez, why do they feel bound? Why bound? Why does someone here feel bound, spirit? Wow. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Okay. Why does someone here feel bound? I just saw the chariot come out, so I hope it's not a car. Oh my God, look at this. Because someone here walked away. Someone here is no longer waiting. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to put this out here. <laughs> Okay, somebody could have been paying for something to be sent to somebody else, okay, to create some kind of illusions, to pull them in, this is magic, okay, to pull them into them, into the fairy tale of being together, love spells, anything like that, I'm telling you, I see it, I don't know any way to address this, that's just what it is, okay, and instead, this person is no longer waiting at all, they're actually walking away, Okay, in fact, they're burning. You see the burning bowl, right? You know what a burning bowl is, right? Where you put, you write it all down, the experience, everything like that, and then you burn it and you leave it. It's done. It's finished. Okay, somebody is burning it up. They're walking away. They're leaving it. This person feels like there's some kind of injustice with this. They feel like they've been tricked out of their money. I kept saying their money. I kept going back to the money. Something happened to this person's money. Maybe it was this person that was feeding them all the BS. I kept saying that. I said, maybe this is the trickster. Maybe this is who they were paying and entrusting to get them what they wanted here. And they're ashamed and guilty, embarrassed. And maybe this uh, Queen of Wands knows about it. They know they were in the wrong for doing something like this. Let me see. Is this Queen of Wands? What does this Queen of Wands know, Spirit? What does this Queen of Wands know about this? This situ oh, situation here. Wow, look at this. Yep. Yeah, because she was bound. See, it was to bound her to him. Okay, and she was, and she does know because she's out of it. Look at her. She's looking at that situation. You see her looking up unbound, but she's looking at what happened. So she does know. Yep, she knows. Look at that ace of swords. She, she knows the truth. Look at that. She knows the truth about someone's investment here to keep her bound. But look, she's also unbound here. Queen of Cups energy. She's very intuitive. She's very connected. She knows that somebody was trying to keep her in some kind of way here and maybe even throw chaos at her in some way as well to keep her bound. Oh my God. And she knows it was her match. She knows it was somebody that she loved. It was some kind of soulmate energy. So somebody, this is why this person is heartbroken. Everything that they did to try to get someone in their life or to keep them from moving forward backfired. And they feel like somebody here served them some kind of injustice. And now they're bound by it. So they tried to get another person to stop and not to go anywhere. And now they're being bound. Spirit might be bound, binding this person actually. They can't go anywhere. They feel utterly entrapped. They feel sad about it because somebody is fully done here. Look at this. Burning it. Burning up the story. Walking away. So they were really the illusionists. Although I feel like they could be projecting. And I do think they have someone around them as well. Okay. They're also the illusionists. Because they were, if you're paying for it, you're as guilty as the person who's doing it. Right? 
Somebody was definitely lying to this person, not being open with them, not wanting them to move forward. I still, I'm going to go back to this. This, Even if this person was involved in this portion of it, this is a liar. This is a manipulator. This is a cold individual. Somebody who probably, honestly, um, I feel like their heart is very cold. Okay, so I feel like this was the influence on another person. Your person is coming up or somebody's person is coming up here as the King of Cups twice. All right, so there's a lot of love for another individual that they're feeling like they'll never have. And now they're entrapped is what I'm getting here. And maybe the shocking news is that they're literally watching someone else walk away. How can that even be? All of this that I've done to keep someone stuck here and they're walking away. Oh my God, what a reading. Should I even post this? I don't even know. This shit. Ugh. I wonder I was dropping so many F-bombs. This is upsetting. Let me get a few of these. I don't even know how far into this I am. Spirit, what else do you want us to know about this situation? Just having such good love readings the last few days. <laughs> now this self-indulgence. Yeah, this person has a lot of shadow work that they need to work through. They need to learn to appreciate themselves you know, heal themselves so that they know that this is not, you just can't do that. You can't impede on other people's free will anyway without consequences. I don't know why people don't understand that, okay? But this definitely had a massive backfire on somebody. They need to do their, their shadow work and they need to understand who they are and that they don't have to do that to get love. This woman could have loved them anyway. Who knows? Yeah, see, they've spent all this time. I kept going to lifestyle. They've spent all this time partying out here, spending time with friends, okay, having fun here. They may fear as well or see you being happily single, just kind of living in the moment as well. Yeah. Talking to other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, while they're hiding here. They're sitting back here hiding their true feelings pretending right gaslighting you in some way that's what i feel but ultimately you need to know especially if this happened to you this person feels ashamed they feel ashamed of what they did and they really feel ashamed that you knew you might know this in some way because look they know that they don't they're out of time here okay they feel like this cycle has kind of ended they're watching you do something quit something leave something maybe they could have gotten a reading and writing or a video honestly that's telling them what is going on with you too because it looks like it's very shocking whatever they're reading and it looks like their obsession with this their addiction with this whole thing to possess you to control you i feel like in some way has done nothing but backfire on them it's created a massive emotional block that they may not be able to get out of it's kept them restrained they are restrained right now that's what i feel addiction this is a card about obsession but also restraint i feel like whatever they tried to do to you is actually happening to them now yeah, and they're blocked. I'm sorry. I don't know who's reading this, and I'm sorry if this is yours for sure, but this person's blocked from you. That's what I get. I don't even feel the need to go further because this is all I want to see of this. All right, guys, let me know if it resonates. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.